The Strathspey Railway is a heritage railway in Scotland, running for 16 kilometres between Aviemore and Boat of Garden. The line was once part of the Inverness and Perth Junction Railway, which later became part of the Highland Railway, linking Aviemore with Forres. The original railway line that linked Perth and Inverness was completed in 1863 and ran from Athymore through to Granton and then over Darvon Moor to Forres. Even after a more direct route from Athymore to Inverness via Carbridge was opened in 1898, train services continued to operate, bringing holiday makers to the area. Leaving Athymore station, the line passes the Four Road Locomotive Shed, constructed by the Highland Railway in 1898. When the line came under the control of the London, Midland and Scottish Railways in 1923, it housed a wide variety of engines, including Stanier Black Fives, Pickersgill Bogies, Cayley 439 tanks, Cayley 812 classes and Fairburn tanks. When the railways were amalgamated under British Railways in 1948, the shed received the code 60B a marker that remains on all of the locomotive smoke boxes that use the line today. The 18 metre turntable used at Aviemore is not original to the site, but was transported from the Kyle of Loghalsh over 180 kilometres away. After leaving Aviemore proper, the line follows the River Spey north through Granish Moor. The route offers picturesque views of the Cairngorms and surrounding countryside, a popular destination for outdoor pursuits of all kinds. Halfway along the journey, the train stops at Boat of Garden to take on water for the locomotive. From at least the 17th century, the village was simply known as Garden. However, after the arrival of the railway, a ferry began to operate nearby, connecting the village to Loch Garden four kilometres away. Thereafter, the village became known as Boat of Garden. The Boat of Garden station was originally a parallel junction between the Highland Railway's main line from Perth to Forres and the Great North of Scotland Railway branch line to Craigalashie. Leaving Boat of Garden, the train heads north along its original route. The track, however, is not original, since that was removed when the line closed in the 1960s. The current track was reclaimed from the now-closed Kincardine Power Station at Fife in the late 1990s. The line terminates at the countryside station of Broom Hill, halfway between the villages of Nethy Bridge and Dulnane Bridge. And although no original buildings remain at Broom Hill, a replica station building has been constructed on the foundations of the original structure. Broom Hill Station was opened by the Inverness and Perth Junction Railway in 1863. At first glance, it seems uneconomical to have a station serving so few people. However, the station was truly built as a hub to export the local timber. The 1875 Ordnance Survey map shows a single platform with a shelter, two sets of signal posts and a station master's house. In 1923, the Highland Railway became part of the London Midland and Scottish Railway before becoming nationalised by British Railway in 1948. But like so many other smaller stations, it was closed following Dr Beeching's report, The Reshaping of British Railways, in 1963. The last train left on the 18th of October 1965. The Highland Railway was formed in Inverness in 1865, and at its height the network extended from Perth in the south to Thurso in the north and to the Kyle of Loch Alsh in the west. And although prior to the Highland Railway, Inverness had had a rail link heading south, the route was meandering and also involved a change between two railway stations spaced nearly a kilometre apart. Passengers were bussed between these two stations to catch the connecting train, but delays were frequent and the Great North of Scotland Railway, the owner of the connecting line, were eventually forced to not wait for the passengers since the delays were disrupting their train schedules, and indeed that of the post office, the line's greatest source of revenue. 
In response to the growing demand for a direct passenger service, a new line was commenced in 1861, with completion on the 9th of September 1863. Although a similar route had been submitted in 1845, it was rejected due to the technical difficulties over the terrain and the limitations of the locomotives. The 180 km route, taking around 6 hours, left the Inverness and Aberdeen junction at Forres and headed south to the summit of Darva, a steep climb to 321 metres. From Darva, the line passed through Granton and then followed the River Spey to Kinkusi before climbing again to the summit of the pass of Druimashta. The line then descended to Burnham, 25 kilometres north of Perth, from where the line linked with the Perth and Dunkeld Railway. The locomotive that pulled the train that I was on was a Caledonian Railway 060812 class, number 828, later numbered 17566 under the London, Midland and Scottish Railways, and then 57566 under British Railways. Its top speed is 90 km an hour. The Caledonian Railway 812 class locomotive was designed by John F. McIntosh and introduced in 1899. Its construction took place at the St. Rollox Works in Glasgow and incorporated the same boiler type as the 721 Dunalistair class 440s. Of all the 812 class locomotives, number 828 was the last of its batch to be produced and is now the only one that remains. It is then an important example of Scotland's industrial heritage, much in the same way that the line itself is an important example of Scotland's locomotive heritage.